Welcome back, gang. For the first time and hopefully many more to come, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go. BoxingVoice.com live here with the head trainer of Tevin Farmer, Chino Rivas. What's going on, brother? How is everything? Everything's good. I got it, I got it. Uh, excited, looking forward. March 15, another day for Tevin to display his talent. Now, obviously this is something that you have to be proud of. I mean, Tevin's finally getting a hometown fight. He's being treated like the A-side. This is a, a fight in his house, basically a fight that he chose. Um, how is it for you? Because this is now, you know, your first uh, a-lister. I mean, I know Jason Sosa won that title, but I mean, this is now, I overheard Tevin and his promoter talking four title defenses already, correct? That is correct. Well, this is the third going now. Um, but it's a good moment for me because at the end of the day, being able to fight at home, you know, we, we go from, at one time, people thought he was in the polling, and now he's like one of the hottest, you know, super featherweight, you know, in the world. So it's exciting for him and I, you know, we put a lot of work together through the years, um, and it's paying off. So I'm happy for him. He's an incredible human being. I love him to death. Like, he's literally like my son. So his success brings me joy. Now, just talk a little bit about that activity and, and what, is, what good or bad is it doing for Tevin? No, it's doing good because you got to remember, he only has 16 amateur fights, so he's learning in the job. The more active I keep him, the better it is. Uh, so I thank Eddie Hearns, you know, for believing in him and picking him up and keeping him active, you know. So, uh, I mean, all of this is happening because of Eddie Hearns, you know, that, and, and Lou DeBella. So um, I'm glad he was able to take a month off because in the last three fights, he was like back to back to back camp. Along his last, in his last camp, he was also moving. There was so much going on, and he still was able to, you know, perform, you know, to, to, to my likings. Uh, so... Being able that he was able to take him off and relax and let, just do nothing, just, you know, he went to Africa and he went to different places. Wow, Africa. Yeah, he was there for two weeks. He enjoyed himself. I mean, it was just an amazing experience for him. So I'm happy for him. So I, we started camping. He's already looking amazing. Now, Jonah Carl, a um, lot was made of Jonah Carl, his last uh, fight out. I mean, the hype was there. They were building up the fight with he and Farmer. And even Farmer got on his social media and kind of felt like Carl's performance felt flat. What made you guys decide on ultimately still using him to be the title defense? Well, because he was prior to his last fight where he got the draw, he was talking a lot of trash. So Tevin actually embraced it. Tevin was like, you know what? I'm going to give you that. Handle your business, and then we got to end up fighting. He got the draw. It was not mandatory. So Tevin said, you know what? I'm going to still give him the opportunity. You know, just to... Show the world that, you know, he's pretty much just all talk. It's the, the, there's levels to this, you know, and he's actually coming into a level that he's not ready for. You know I mean, so Tevin and I spoke about it. I said, give him the shot. That's what we agree on from, you know, from the gate. You know what I mean? So um, I see no reason why not to give him the shot. He got the draw. So uh, it is what it is. So here we are today, you know, um, at the press conference where we're going to make the fight happen in 15. Now, did you see anything in that last fight with Jonah Carl that you feel that Tevin is going to be able to capitalize? Will we be able to see a Tevin Farmer stoppage, or is this another De points decision? Carl is an aggressive fighter. Yes. Carl, Carl Roll. Yeah, he's very aggressive, which I like. I like aggressive fighter because Tevin's defense off of aggressive fighter, we able to capitalize even more because when you're an aggressive fighter, at the end of the day, you, you depend more on your offense. And we could capitalize from his defense or his offense. So it's a great matchup for us. We love the challenge. Um, stoppage, I'm not going to you know, predict anything like that. My main goal is to make sure that I got Tevin focused for 12 rounds, and we want that W. That's what the matter. Now, if the spot, if stoppage comes, I'll take it too. Now, I know you spoke of the activity, uh, but now using that same activity that, that Tevin is getting, how much good or bad is it doing for him uh, before he gets this Javanta fight, because obviously he's not getting the stoppage, so he's fighting more bo more rounds boxed than Javanta. Does that necessarily mean to a casual fan that Tevin is more shop worn or that Javanta is more fresh? As the trainer, how do you look at the two differences in both men and the way their career paths are going? Well, that could go either way. I mean, Tevin's 28, Davis 24. He's not active. 
which you play the big part uh, with your timing, you know what I mean, and, and et cetera, and et cetera. Uh, Tevin being active, I like because he's learning. He's not an average, he's not a fighter, a pro fighter who had 150 amateur fight like Davis. You know, so then you can slow down. You know, he's a, he's a professional fighter with 16 amateur fight, and he's still learning in the job. So if you notice, look at his performance. He gets better and better and better. Um, so this year coming up, if I could do three fights, I'm comfortable. I don't need to do four fights. I would like this the first one and maybe two more fights, and I'm good because now we need a little rest in between. But he made his name. Part of the reason why we fought as much as we fought was just to show the public and the social media and the world that Tevin Farmer is the real deal. Everybody knows that. So I don't have to force Tevin to fight four times a year. I'm okay with three times and the break gets a, you know, the body gets a break in between. Um, as far as how active David is and how active, I like my activity. You know, if Tevin was 30 plus, I'd tell you, you know what, wherever Tevin plays the part, Tevin's just 28 years old. I mean, he's a baby. I mean, he's not even his prime yet. He just started getting his prime. So that really doesn't affect me. And to tell you the truth, the way I train him, I make sure he gets rest in between. So it's not like I'm killing him in the gym. You know, and then he fights 12 rounds, back to the gym, I'm killing him again. I have a, I have a system, and my system works outstanding. In the process, he gets the proper rest as he fights. So when we do fight 12 rounds, if you look at his last three fights, um, especially the last fight, he gets stronger and stronger and stronger, you know, per, you know, per round. The last fight, I saw a little fatigue maybe, I think, in the eighth round due to the fact of what was happening outside in camp, you know, with the moving and etc. There was just a lot going on. So, but... We don't have that problem this time. Everything is settled. He's settled in his new place that he bought. Um, and that's just strictly camp. Yeah, so we good. Well, uh, I got to ask because you said you're not killing him. But we got footage of him putting a bandage on his arm. And, uh, you know, my listeners, my viewers, they'll be like, yo, why didn't you ask? So it could be anything as simple as being punched during sparring on the bicep and he's just hurt. But I have to ask, what's going on with the left bicep? This is what happened. I had a procedure today. So I was not in the gym. I tried to postpone my procedure, but I couldn't. Um, so as in the process, I had the other guys work the corner. So when, as I'm coming to the gym, I get the call. Uh, Tevin uh, damaged a little his, his bicep. So when I got back to the gym, I said, what happened? He says, I just overthrew it. I mean, and I felt like I twisted a little. I said, but it looks like it's a little sore. So I just took him to the back. I checked it. And it's good. It's just a little bit tight, so I just got to break the muscle. So it looks like, it, you know, like he be pinching a muscle. But as far as, you know, any danger, no, there's no danger. There we go. Now, how many week camp exactly is it for this fight? It's going to be eight. So regardless if something's wrong, it's minor at this point it's that minor. it'll be good by fight night. Yes, exactly. If I don't feel that it's not good, so he's not fighting. That's all. Oh, you'll doing. pull him out. Oh, yeah, I'll pull him Yeah, if I think, listen, we work so hard to be where we are today. I love the public, I love the fans, I love the media, but at the end of the day, it's about me protecting Tevin. It's what I've been doing for the last six years. If he's 100%, we are good. If he's 75%, we're not fighting. That I can tell you. I made that decision between him and I. And he always rides with my decision. He was my decision from the beginning to the end. Well, before I let you go, I got to ask you about Vasil Lomachenko. Now you got gotten to see Peldraza in the ring with him. You know Peldraza well. Obviously, Tevin fought him before you guys hooked up, but I'm sure you watched that tape. Then you watched the tape of Javanta. Does your opinion of Lomachenko change, and has your opinion of Javanta increased, I guess, in an uptick because of what he was able to do to Peldraza and what Lomachenko was not able to do to Peldraza? The opposite. The one that I'm impressed with, with Peldraza. Now with Lomachenko, now with Davis. Davis for a Peldraza, they took a check, he couldn't make weight. I guarantee you that David fights Pedraza at 135 pounds, it's a different story. I could promise you that. I know that for a fact, as a trainer. Now, we cannot take away from who Pedraza is. Machenko is very talented. I have so much love and respect for that man, and I could just hope one day Tevin and him will face, because I think it's a fight that the whole world deserves to see. Two soft poles, very high IQ, very smart, great de defense of, of fighter, great defense of mind. So at the end of the day, eventually, that's, that is the goal for Tevin and I, but I'm not going to give more credit to Mancheco. I'm not going to give more credit to, uh, to Davis. I'm going to give the credit to Jose Pedraza. It just shows that finally he's back at the weight that he normally, where he was at 130, super federal, when he started. A strong, you know, 35-pounder, great legs, good defense of, of, of a fighter, and he proved that by fighting pound for pound the best fighter in the world. He won, in my eyes, he won at least four rounds out of that fight. What do you think is next for Vasil? I don't know. Let's see what happens with Mikey, you know? Because that's the next biggest name out there. 
you know, Mikey, he has the IBF and the WBC. Who else? Well, he vacated <clears throat> vacated the IBF. Richard Comey is going to go in an eliminator versus Ch 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 Chigayev. Or yeah, so you know what? Fight, unify the uh, WBA and the IBF, you know what I mean? And, 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 you know, that's what Machenko. Machenko is looking to do history, and I love that about him and his team. So at the end of the day, you know what? Try to keep unifying the title, and then what happens after Mikey, you know, with uh, Spence, and then you know what? If Mikey wants to come down and fight Machenko, well, there you go. That's a, that's what, what is up, TBV family? Yes, yes, YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality uh, going through its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice. Uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.